Hundreds of animals are being removed from wildlife in need in southern Indiana right now. The removal was okayed by a judge just yesterday, and our Shane McAllister has been down the road as close as she can get since early this morning. Now, right now, there are uh, multiple officers that are there on the scene. The cell phone service is honestly terrible, which is why we are not hearing from Shay herself. But she says that around 9 this morning, multiple law enforcement agencies showed up to wildlife in need. Day one of the operation to remove the more than 200 animals from the property that got the thumbs up for removal. Now, police were there to do a sweep, but they couldn't start until 1030 because Tim Stark wouldn't leave the property despite police telling him multiple times that he needed to leave. Now, eventually he did, and he did stop and talk to Shay for about 40 minutes on his way out. He said it isn't fair. He got emotional watching the trucks come in that are eventually going to take his animals out. And then he said if the court system doesn't take him down, He'll close wildlife in need himself. Now Shay's going to have more on that interview coming up later on this evening. In a statement from the Indianapolis Zoo last night, they're in charge of the animal removal. Director Rob Shoemaker said the Indianapolis Zoo team is committed to ensuring the safety and well-being of these animals. They received strong and swift support from our animal care community, and they have total confidence in the team's professionalism and expertise.